हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेबीआर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरी वन नाउ वन सेकेंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो हियर इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर टेस्ट कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री सम नंबर फोर ओके फॉर द प्रीवियस पार्ट प्लीज चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स द लिंक विल बी दियर सो हियर इन सम नंबर फोर ड्रॉ द ग्राफ ऑफ द इक्वेशन फर्स्ट राइट एंड इक्वेशन थ्री एक्स माइनस फोर वाई दैट वन इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व एंड फ्रॉम द ग्राफ फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ वाई वेन एक्स इक्वल टू माइनस फोर एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स वेन वाई इक्वल टू थ्री सो दैट मीन्स फर्स्ट यू हैव टू ड्रॉ द लाइन दैट इज थ्री एक्स माइनस फोर इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व सो आई होप यू नो दैट सो फर्स्ट यू कैन राइट डाउन हियर थ्री एक्स इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व प्लस फोर वाई ओके देन एक्स इक्वल टू 12 plus 4y by 3. Okay, so that one equal to 12 by 3. It's 4, and then 4 by 3y. Okay, so x equal to x equal to 4 plus 4 by 3y. So now you have to make a table that is x and y. So here the value of x is depend on value of y. So first you have to choose the value of y. and remember that for the value of y the x always be a what x always be a whole number not a fraction okay so here i am just uh, the first one first one let y equal to 0 so if y equal to 0 that means 4 plus 4 by 3 into 0 so your answer will be 4 so in that case x equal to 4 in this way you have to choose the value of y now next one If I choose y equal to three, so four, sorry, it's four plus four plus four by three into three, then three three cancel out. Four plus four, it will be eight. So if y equal to three, then x equal to eight. Now after that, if y equal to minus three, so write down here minus three. So here three three cancel out. So four minus four, that one equal to zero. So if y equal to minus three, then x equal to zero. So now you have three points. First one here, four comma zero. Second point, eight comma three, and third one, zero minus three. Now you have to plot these three points in your graph paper. Okay. So first here, draw the x-axis and y-axis. Always use scale for this one. I'm just going to draw the roughly. So here the mass The middle one is origin. It's zero. After that, here one, two, three, four. Okay. So one, one, two, three, four. In this way, you have to draw, draw it. Suppose this one here, uh, one, then two, then uh, here three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In this way. So here uh, first one four comma zero. So one two three four. So this one is here. This point is four comma zero. Okay. After that here eight comma three. So eight is four five six seven eight and then three three. It's a positive. So upper one one then two and then three. So it's eight comma three. And after that zero then minus three. So one two one two minus three. This one here minus three. Now you have to join these three points. Okay, mark the point. Okay, so here this is your straight line. Okay. Now here the second one is find the value of y when x equal to minus four. So when x equal to minus four, so where is minus four? Here minus one, then minus two, then minus three, and minus four. So this one here minus four. And then you have to increase this line. So now here, y equal to one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. So y equal to six. That means when x equal to minus four, then y equal to six. That is your second answer. Now next one, find the value of x when y equal to three. So if y equal to three, then find the value of x. So where is y equal to three? Y equal to three here one, then two, and then three. Here y equal to three, 
and in that case here x equal to maybe 8 okay so if y equal to 3 then x equal to 8 so that is your third answer okay now the next one sum number 5 So here in sum number 5, solve graphically the simultaneous equation. The first equation is 2x minus 3y equal to 1. Second equation x plus 6y equal to 11. Same problem. So here first write down 2x equal to uh, its 1. So 1 plus 3y. Then x equal to 1 plus 3y by 2. Now make the table. So xy again. You have to let the value of x. So, if a, y equal to 1, if y equal to 1, then 1 plus 3 into 1, that means 4. So, 4 by 2. Okay. If y equal to 1, so 3 and it's 2. So, that one equal to here. Uh, oh, sorry, extremely sorry for this one. Here, it's not 1, it's 7. Okay. So, this one is 7, 7. Okay. So, if y equal to 1, so 7 plus 3, it's 10. It will be here 5. Next one, if y equal to minus 1, so for minus 1, it's 7 minus 3, that means 4, 4 by 2, it's 2, okay. And after that, if y equal to 2, y equal to 2, so 7 plus 6, it's an odd number. If y equal to minus 2, again, it's fraction. If y equal to 3, so 3, it's 9, so 7 plus 9, okay, it's 16. And if y equal to minus 3, so it's 7 minus 9. Okay, I think it is a uh, less number. So, just consider y equal to minus 3. So, that means 7 minus 9. So, minus 2 it will be minus 1. Okay, you can also choose y equal to 3, positive 3 also. And from here, x equal to 11 minus 6y. Okay, so again make a table. So, if y equal to 0, then x equal to 11. If y equal to 1, then x equal to 5. If y equal to 2, then x equal to minus 1. Now, you have to plot this uh, 3, 3, 6 points. First one, 5 comma 1. Second point, 2 minus 1. Third point, minus 1, minus 3. After that, 11 comma 0. Then 5 comma 1 and minus 1, 2. So, here the common point is 5 comma 1. So, definitely this will be your answer. So, you have to just check this one. Okay, this is your x axis, y axis. So, first point 5 comma 1. Okay. So, here suppose uh, 5. Okay. So, 1, 2, it's 5, then 1. 5 comma 1. This one is your 5 comma 1. Next point is 2 minus 1. So, here 1, 2 and then minus 1. This point is 2 minus 1. After that, minus 1, minus 3. So, minus 1 and then minus 3. So, this is your first line. You have to draw it by your scale. Okay, next one 11, 0. So, 11, 1, 2, 3, 5, then 10, it's 11. So, 11, 0. After that, 5, 1 again, and then minus 1, minus 2. Sorry, minus 1 plus 2. So, here minus 1 and then 2. So, that will be your second line, first point, okay. So, you have the intersecting point is P, suppose this one, this is your intersecting point, it is P and the value of P here 5 comma 1. So, that means here from this uh, graph, you can write down the value of x equal to 5 and value of y equal to 1. So, now after that here are 6, 7, 8 and 9 a similar kind of problem. Each and every problem first you have to find out the coordinates, okay. Then plot the coordinates, join the line, okay. And uh, then the line intersecting point, okay. In this way you have to solve the 6, 7, 8 and 9, okay. Now, if you face any kind of problem, you can contact me. So, here the next one, some number 10. In some number 10, a line segment is of length 10 units okay if one of its end is minus 2 3 if the ordinate of the other end is 9 
find the abscissa of the other end okay so suppose here x comma y okay x comma y is the coordinate of a point so here this x is called the what this x is called abscissa and this y is called ordinate remember this one here the first part the x part is called abscissa and the y part is called ordinate so in your problem here the abscissa oh sorry it's ordinate here it's 9 that means the required point is x comma 9 you have to find out this value of x suppose this one is a line so here the one end is x comma 9 and another end is minus 2 comma 3 okay and the length of this line is 10 units so first here you have to know the formula the distance between two points so the formula is root over x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square this is the formula which one is x1 this one is x1 and y1 and this point is x2 and y2 so now let's put down the value so here x1 means x and x2 means minus 2 so it will be plus so x plus 2 whole square then here y1 means 9 and y2 here 3 so 9 minus 3 whole square under root that one equal to 10 unit okay according to your problem so now squaring both sides so x plus 2 whole square 9 plus 3 it's 6 that means 36 and here 10 square means 100 so now a plus b whole square formula x square plus 4x plus 4 plus 36 equal to 100 so x square plus 4x here 4 plus 36 it's 40 then minus x so it will be here minus 60 that one equal to 0 now you have to solve it by middle term factorization method so x square plus 10x minus here 6x minus 60 that one equal to 0 so the first factor x plus 10 second one x minus 6 that means either x equal to minus 10 or x equal to 6 okay so that is your answer now next one so next one here sum number 11 in sum number 11 here a minus 4 minus 1 okay just hold on one minute yes sum number 11 a the coordinate of a minus 4 minus 1 the coordinate of e minus 1 2 coordinate of c alpha comma 5 are the vertices of an isosceles triangle find the value of alpha given that a b is the unequal side so if a b is the unequal side that means here a c is equal to with b c okay i repeat if a b is the unequal side then definitely AC is equal to with BC because isosceles triangle means two sides are equal. So that means here first you have to find out the length of AC which will be equal to the length of BC. So for AC the formula minus 4 minus alpha whole square and here minus 1 minus 5 whole square done and next one for BC here the formula is minus 1 minus alpha whole square and here 2 minus 5 whole square squaring both sides so it will be here minus 4 minus alpha whole square here minus 1 minus 5 it's minus 6 that means 36 here minus 1 minus alpha whole square 2 minus 5 minus 3 so it will be 9 clear okay so now minus 4 minus alpha you can write down this one as 4 plus half alpha whole square okay 36 here 1 plus alpha whole square if minus will be common then for the square it will be in positive so here 4 plus alpha whole square minus 1 plus alpha whole square that is equal to 9 minus 36 okay now so here we can apply the formula of a square minus b square okay so for the formula a square minus b square write down here 4 plus alpha it's a then 
1 plus alpha it is b and next one a minus b. So, 4 plus alpha minus 1 minus alpha and here 9 minus 36 so it is minus 27. Okay, so alpha alpha cancel out here it will be 5 plus 2 alpha then here 4 minus 1 it is 3 that is minus 27 so we cancel out it is minus 9. So, 2 alpha equal to minus 9 minus 5 that is minus 14. So, alpha equal to minus 7 that is your answer. Okay. Now, next one and the last one for this video. So, guys, if you like my video, please, please share this video and please subscribe my channel. So, here in sum number 12, sum number 12, here if a minus 3 to b alpha comma beta and c here minus 1 4 are the vertices of an isosceles triangle then prove that alpha plus beta equal to 1 where a b equal to b c ok a b equal to b c. So, a b means again same formula. So, minus 3 minus alpha whole square then 2 minus beta whole square and b c means here alpha plus 1 whole square then beta minus 4 whole square. So, after squaring both sides you can write down this one as 3 plus alpha whole square then 2 minus beta whole square here alpha plus 1 whole square and beta minus 4 whole square. Now, 3 plus alpha whole square minus alpha plus 1 whole square and here beta minus 4 whole square minus 2 minus beta whole square. Now, apply what a square minus b square formula. So, 3 plus alpha plus alpha 1 then 3 plus alpha minus alpha minus 1 a plus b a minus b. Again beta minus 4 plus 2 minus beta then beta minus 4 minus 2 plus beta. So, here 4 plus 2 alpha and this one alpha alpha cancel out. So, 3 minus 1 it is 2. Here beta beta cancel out minus 4 plus 2 it is minus 2 and here 2 beta then minus 6. Now, 2 2 also cancel out. Okay. So, here 4 plus just write down 4 plus 2 alpha and here minus 2 beta then plus 6 because minus 1 multiply with this one. So, here 2 alpha plus 2 beta equal to 6 minus 4 it is 2 that means alpha plus beta equal to 1. So, it is proved.